<laughs> Hello, come on in. Hello, welcome. Welcome to a 420 Stoner House tour. I'm gonna bring you around my little tiny Toronto condo and show you how I keep my space nice and cozy. Also how I kind of integrate cannabis into my home interior, my home design, decor. Doesn't look like a typical stoner's house. Definitely doesn't look like Harold and Kumar's house, that's for sure. I hope you guys like this and get a little insight into how I live my life. So this is my home office and a very tiny little space here, I'm pretty cozy. And this is where I do all my editing work. As you can see, this is actually not a, uh, a monitor stand at all. This is literally from Ikea for $20 cause I don't know what to do with this. So we're just doing this. We have my grow lights. I'm not growing anything special here. Just a little bit of light for my beautiful pothos and my bookshelf. This is probably one of my favorite things in this room. Um, and you can see I have a little bit of cute little decor you wouldn't be able to tell. This literally looks like you could put a flower in there. Um, and this is like not an ergonomic chair at all. That's why I have so many pillows because when you get older, your back hurts. I know I need to get a new desk. I am too cheap because this desk is already working quite handy dandy. Working, podcasting, twiddling my thumbs. Okay, gadgets wise, um, we've got a MacBook, got an iPad, got my ergonomic mouse. If you don't have a vertical mouse, you need to get one because this is ergonomic. That is for your wrist, okay? Look at that ergonomic. I find that if I keep the tripods and stuff handy at my desk, it actually helps me film more because it just makes it easier, right? I have all the cameras and stuff. There's no excuse not to film. Okay, ow! <laughs> Stupid Stanley. <laughs> um, okay, come on in. We're gonna go to the next place. Everyone has a little nook where they put all their shit. Their shit that they use frequently, that they use daily, that they don't have a home for. This is my little shit nook. So I have like my bags here, the stuff, the bags that I use frequently. I got a little, little bud there as well. Probably more interesting to you guys is my little vaporization collection here. Pretty much I put all the devices that I use pretty frequently here. I haven't figured out like a setup that I like. We got the Puffco, the new Puffco here. We got the student gloss setup. What else we got? We got a bunch of other vaporizers, just like stuff on the go. I keep my favorite grinder here handy dandy. This is a toothless grinder, one of my favorites. What's really good about it is that it doesn't clog up your flour, so you'll see pretty easy to clean. Um, and it makes a really nice and fluffy grind. Everyone likes to know what's in people's fridges, so let me show you what's in mine. Um, what do we got here? Groceries, blueberries. Um, I do have some infused oils and butters, um, which I think some of you guys will like. Infused butter, and this is olive oil, but it's like hardened. Um, I made this myself using my Levo machine. This was made with the gelato strain, so I also keep it labeled as well, so I know exactly how many milligrams is in each tablespoon because dosing is very important. On the side here, what I also keep is pretty much my concentrates. All like my live rosin, live resin, any of the sauce. Pretty much I keep this in the fridge. It kind of helps preserve the terpenes. If you have kids at home, then definitely don't put it in your regular fridge. You definitely should have a separate refrigerator for anything that's cannabis related. And I also like to keep my CBD oils, um, any cannabis oils. I don't know, I'm just a fridge person. I like putting stuff in the fridge. Most important, protect your lungs with mullein tincture. You can drink this in a tea form. Uh, mullein is basically like an ancient herb, has anti-inflammatory properties. Um, it's good for coughs, bronchitis, things like that. I like to take it in a tincture form. It's pretty gross. I just drink it in the morning. Oh, this is another great tincture for when you're on your tea break. If you use cannabis for sleeping, then this is something that I really recommend. Basically a sleep tonic, which has like passion flower, California poppy and chamomile, kind of helps you get into that sleepy state. But I really like this for tea breaks because I know some people have a hard time falling asleep when they are not consuming the plant. And that's the fridge. Living space, Ugh. This is the living space. This is where I like to chill with my plants, where I like to journal in the morning, read my, stoicism stuff. Actually, maybe I should say where I got certain things, eh? Yeah. Okay. I'd love to know where the bag is from. Oh, this is from Bed Bath & Beyond. I saw this and I was like, I feel like orange kind of pops with the rest of the place, um, but it's kind of broken. You can see. Oops. I have a lot of these paper lanterns, as you can see, it gives like a little bit more Asian vibe. This is also like a Japanese plant. It's getting really big, but it's, it's very happy. Lots of happy plants here. This couch is a dupe of the Rossellini 
what is it? Did I even say it right? It's that famous couch. I'm not gonna lie, it's not like super comfortable. Like it's comfy for like an hour and then you gotta get up because then your ass starts hurting. My favorite thing about my space is actually the nighttime lighting. I wish I started doing this earlier, but I don't really use any overhead lights. I have a lot of different little lanterns throughout the home and I love using that warm lighting because it really gets me into that relaxed sleepy state. Uh, oh, this guy, I like him. I don't know what he's called, but he's like a cactus and he looks like a starfish. So I just kind of keep my tripod out here because when I'm filming short form content, this is usually where I'm facing. I know it's ugly, but I find that if you just have your tripod out and about, it's just so much easier to film. Like you don't have to think about it. If you want, you can easily put it away. But honestly, I find that I film way more B-roll and behind the scenes when I naturally just have this hanging out. Um, oh yes, this, what do you call this? Coffee table. This coffee table I got off Facebook Marketplace. Someone actually made it. Like they literally glued tiles onto this. And I liked how there's actually like a little storage system down here. Random cannabis stuff that I don't really have a home for. I just keep it in these little jute baskets. I feel like it's like a classy way to keep your paraphernalia organized. What else we got here? We also got the proxy wizard pipe. If people come over and we wanna be like Gandalf, we'll whip this out. I never use this by myself. Like this is really extra, but it's cute. So we keep it handy. These baskets are the best. I've bought so many of these from H&M and I literally just put like herb cleaning supplies, whatever that you kind of need to use on a week to week, but you don't want it to be really shown. Then we keep it in here. Last but not least in this little nook, we got storage cases. So whenever I'm going to the cottage, going away, going to the park, basically they're kind of like little scent proof lockable cases that you can use to store literally anything. I don't even know what this is, cones, rolling papers. Do you want some? I actually have a lot. Do you, do you need any of these tips? I would take them. Okay, okay, I'm gonna give you some. These are also my favorite scent proof joint holders made of aluminum. Do you have one of these? I do, you gave me one. Oh, I gave you one, okay. So well. Okay, let me give you some rolling papers actually. I don't even smoke joints anymore, so. <laughs> I have no need for any of this. Yeah, you know what this, this box is good for is when people come over and you wanna give them like a little goodie bag to take home. This is the goodie bag. <laughs> here. Thank you. Where the real, the real good stuff is. I'm gonna show you guys, come over here. Very inconspicuous. This is literally from Bed Bath & Beyond. I think this was this case is a hundred bucks. It's like made of plastic, but it's actually pretty cute, pretty functional. And you can actually take off each layer. What I store in here is basically all my cannabis goodies and my cleaning supplies, um, all my edibles, all my flour, ISO. So a lot of people have asked me, is this scent proof? So my place doesn't smell like weed. Would you say it smells like weed? So it's not fully scent proof because when I'm here, I smell something, but I don't know what it is until I open it. So I guess you could say it's kind of scent proof. Alcohol wipes, cleaning supplies, gel capsules, um, I love taking gel capsules, like when I'm on my period and stuff. This row is literally ISO. That's that's really all I have in here. Third row, bunch of flower products. I keep it in these like um, scent proof glass jars. You see here? Hmm, smells very good. And then the last row is ancillary products like infused tamari sauce, sesame oil. We got apple matcha fruit bites with CBD and THC. Oh my God. Truffle oil infused, infused truffle hot sauce. There's just a lot of crap in here, okay? So I just shove it, close it, and then I don't deal with it. Another jute basket here. What I do here is I store lighters. You can't even tell, inconspicuous, right? No one knows, no one knows. I'm gonna take you to my bedroom. Okay, we're coming to my bedroom. Very low to the ground. So I used to have a bed frame and then I just gave up on it because it's hard to find a good one, but it's also hard to find a good one that fits a tiny, tiny condo space. So I ended up going with this like tatami style mat. Um, this is like traditional Japanese mat that people literally just put like a futon on. Antibacterial, it's great for summertime, it's great for wintertime. So I literally just put like my mattress on a tatami mat and that's kind of how I live. I like to keep the bedroom space just like super minimal. Kind of helps me get into like a sleepy state, I guess you could say. I added this like bamboo fan. Um, it's actually from Thailand. Yeah, just kind of reminds me of Asia and I love that kind of vibe. But another good thing about tatami mats is you can literally put a bunch of shit on the side. This is my most important nighttime routine. It's my red light mask. Again, it's just like making good habits. Put this right next to your bed and you're gonna be using it every night. What else we got? Old lady shit, Theragun, right before bedtime. 
get a couple massages in. I have this little basket of CBD topicals. Two of these are my two favorite ones um, that I've been using. So this one is a feel stick. This one is wildflower, basically just like CBD sticks. They kind of have this like pepperminty kind of smell right before bed, especially after working out. Dab a little bit on the neck, on the shoulders, and it has this like nice cooling effect, but also CBD is really good for anti-inflammatory. This really helps with post-workout recovery. So, um, and I also have this like CBG roll-on gel. For me, I love putting it on my knee. Ooh, God dang, my skin is so dry. What the heck? Oh God, I also thought I shaved my legs. I just like to roll on CBG on my kneecaps. As you're getting old, you know, inflammation, especially on like leg days, this is perfect. Shins, let that CBD, CBG get into your knees. Maybe not, don't get my feet. I don't want free feet pics. <laughs> This is like my current reading collection. We got some creative books. We got some self-help books. We got some David Goggins. Uh, I know I'm late to this, but I actually like this guy a lot. I'm also reading CBD Bible, which actually goes more into the science about cannabis and wellness. Um, she's actually a Canadian doctor, Danny Gordon. I just wanted to kind of up my knowledge in that sense. Right now, I'm loving this one. Stop overthinking. This is definitely me. But I like to keep a little variety of different books. Whichever one I'm feeling for the night, I'll read it and then I try to keep it right by the bed, so no excuses to not read. Make it easy. Yeah, I feel like Toronto condos get really dusty. They do. Right? There's all the construction. Yeah. I literally dusted this morning and it's like already dusty. Yeah, see, I love plants. This is a jade plant, another succulent. She's thriving. We love her. And this is the bathroom. Um, it's pretty much where I get ready, do all my stuff. Nothing too cannabis-y here other than my little THC bath bomb. So I'm gonna be using this tonight. Really great for inflammation, relaxing those muscles. That's pretty much the end of the 420 home tour, but I tried to add a lot of little cozy elements and embed a little bit of 420 wherever I can. Thanks for watching. Bye.